There are over 2.7 billion Christians in the world. That's more than one out of three human beings on planet Earth. And virtually all of them think that Jesus was raised from the dead. But is it true? Was Jesus raised from the dead? The Apostle Paul writes, if Christ has not been raised, your faith is worthless. You are still in your sins, and those who have died as followers of Jesus are forever lost. That's exactly what you would think. If somebody was buried in a tomb and you went there three days later and it was empty, you wouldn't think resurrection. No, you'd think grave robbers. Or you'd think, hey, I'm at the wrong tomb. The empty tomb isn't going to convince anybody. You can't have a group hallucination. I can't wake up my wife in the middle of the night and say, honey, I'm in Maui, go back to sleep, join me in my dream, and let's have a free vacation. Can it be shown to be a historical event? And if not, is Christianity dead? If Christ was not raised, we're not going to be raised. And if we're not going to be raised, the Christian life is not worth living. For most of my life, I was a committed Christian who believed in the resurrection. For many years, I was a deeply committed conservative evangelical. I not only believed the resurrection happened, I thought I could prove it. And I spent a lot of time and effort arguing that the resurrection could be demonstrated as a historical fact. There was a time when I doubted the truth of the Christian message. I took 12 years and studied the historical evidence for the resurrection of Jesus, and I became more convinced than ever that the resurrection of Jesus is an event that occurred in history. It's a religious belief, not a historical fact. Bart says that historians cannot investigate miracle claims. He's wrong. In this debate, I'm going to pull out all the stops to show why the resurrection cannot be seen as a historical event. He's wrong again. This will be the debate to end all debates. This is the debate to end all debates.